Hi, everybody. I'm Donna Frasca, and it's story time. I like to dig right into the stories instead of the fancy schmancy introductions. Anyway, uh, something cool happened today. I want to share it with you. That's why it's called story time. <laughs> um, okay, so today is my day off. Okay, uh, pinned up hair, tie dye, jeans, nothing planned today, nothing to do, but I don't know, things that I want to catch up on, just fun stuff, listening to music or nothing at all. So I thought it would be a good day to do some planting, re repotting. You know, I have some pots, uh, plants inside that uh, need to um, get repotted. As a matter of fact, yesterday I took a whole bunch of my my plants and I made little cuttings. Aren't they adorable? I have like a thousand of these now. So once they all take root, whatever, it's going to be gorgeous. I love to have live plants inside. Anyway, um, I have an aloe. I have a lot of aloes, but I have this one that I call Big Mama because it's huge. The pot was probably, you know, this big around high and one huge aloe plant inside. And she had babies. And the babies were already, you know, this big. So shame on me for not repotting earlier. But I said, you know what? Today, I'm going to repot that because it's, you know, this poor mama plant was like, here's the edge of the plant. And she was like hanging out, trying to get away from the kids. I know how that feels. <laughs> Kidding. Um, okay. But anyway, so I'm downstairs making breakfast and I hear this boom. I'm like, ah. No big deal. I have four cats. They're, they're always getting into something, so I'm not too worried about it. So after breakfast is done, I come upstairs into the bonus room where the plant was, and I see it's on the ground. You know, dirt hanging out of it, aloe plants all over the place. I'm like, oh, crap. I'm like, what happened here? And it made me stop and think because... On on one hand, I was like, oh, crap, you know, my, my plant now fell out of the pot. There's going to be broken leaves. There's dirt all over the ground. But that's okay, because now I don't have to pick this heavy pot up, tip it. And so it, it kind of worked out. But then I, I, I thought about this a little bit deeper. And that's what I do. You know, I, it's medium. I, I you know, these senses are, are always on, on alert. And I'm like, what? really went on here what are the chances of this plant crashing like an hour before I was going to repot it so I get into to the bonus room and I and I look at the plant I'm like oh poor mama you know you want it out of that pot so bad you just kamikaze yourself and jumped right out <laughs> that's what I felt like this plant did and um I mean is it a coincidence is it a is it a time thing? Is it my energy connecting with the aloe plant and say, okay, you know, mom aloe, you know, you, you're, you're getting out today and she got all excited and jumped out. I don't know, but it was just one of those things where you're like, wow, this is, this is kind of cool that, you know, it's just a really cool co coincidence that just an hour before I was going to do this transplant. She's like, I'm out of here. And she jumped out of the pot. So, oh, you know what? I have a picture. Hold on. Let me see. Um, screen share. Okay. So here is, uh, you know, yeah, she looks a little sad. You know, I had to cut the top and I had to cut a lot of the leaves on the side and the baby, some of the babies here are, are on the right. You know, I have like a half a dozen of those, but uh, she's very, you know, top, you know, she's still very strong on this one side, you know, so I had to counteract her weight and put some rocks on the other side. But, you know, I, I talked to her and I touched each, each leaf and I tried to rub most of the, the, the dirt off. And I was like, oh, poor mama. You know, I know how you feel when, when the home is too crowded with those kids around, you know. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I, I think it's going to be OK. I don't know what's going to happen to the top of the plant because I had to cut it. Uh, it was way too top heavy. But we'll see what happens. You know, I'll wait, I'll wait a couple of weeks and um see if she self heals. And uh, really, that's the best that I could do. So anyway, um, guys, I want to share that story with you about plants. 
and time and coincidences in the mind. Was it a telepathic connection with this aloe? I'm like, okay, I'm going to work on this plant. I'm going to work on this plant. And, and that, that vibe, you know, went to the plant and she decided to help me and jump out of the pot. And there you go. I don't know. I just thought, I just thought it was really cool. All right. So there's that story of my aloe plant. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.